हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस अनोदर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टाइम बॉलिंग सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज आवर सर्किट सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ दिस फोर स्टोरेज एलिमेंट्स फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ दीज आर ऑल स्टोरेज एलिमेंट्स एंड दीज आर कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक पार्ट्स l1 l2 l3 l4 The the path path L1 has a delay of eight nanosecond. The path L2 has a delay of two nanosecond. The path L3 has a delay of six nanosecond, and the path L4 has the delay of two nanoseconds. Now, if the design, if we were to design this using edge-triggered flip-flops, if we were to design this circuit using edge-triggered flip-flops. Then the clock period has to be at least eight nanoseconds. The clock period has to be eight nanoseconds if this design has to be done using edge triggered flip flops because the longest path delay for this combinational logic is eight nanosecond. So the minimum clock period has to be eight nanosecond. Why? Because the, it will require eight nanosecond minimum time for this. the data to travel from this point to this point for a edge triggered flip flop but in this design what we are using is that we are using positive or we are using positive level sensitive latches so these are level sensitive latches this latch l1 this latch first and third latch Are controlled by clock signal phi one, and the second and the fourth latch are controlled by clock signal phi two. Phi one and phi two are oppositely phased clocks, and their clock period is five nanosecond. So, if the design, if if in if instead of these four latches we are using four edge triggered flip flops, this design will fail. But here we are using four positive level sensitive. latches so if we were to design this using an integral flip flops then there will be timing violation at phi 2 because the clock period is only 5 nanosecond and this combinational logic delay is 8 nanosecond so there will be timing violation at phi 2 if we have to design this circuit using edge triggered flip flops but here we have used positive level sensitive latches now since we have designed this using positive level sensitive latches so we can see that this latch this second latch is transparent or the second latch can accept the data till 10 nanosecond because it will be uh, depending on the positive level so as you can see this phi 2 This is five nanosecond. This is ten nanosecond. So it can accept the data till ten nanosecond, and eight nanosecond is lying within this boundary. So we can see that in uh, since eight nanosecond is within this period, the signal along path one can travel through the latch, can cross through the latch two, and continue on the path two, which is the which is this path, because this is the Level sensitive latch, so there is no timing violation for this circuit. So as you can see, we are borrowing three nanoseconds from. We are borrowing three nanoseconds because the delay for the combination logic is L1 is eight nanoseconds, and the delay of the path two is only two nanoseconds. So. we can borrow 3 nanoseconds which is the borrowing time so we can see that the delay of path l2 is only 2 nanoseconds and it is short enough to compensate for the extra delay on path 1 the delay on path 1 is 8 nanoseconds so we have a 3 nanosecond extra delay but the delay on path 2 is only 2 nanoseconds so it is short enough to compensate for the extra delay on path 1 so this design will work properly 
so you can see that the sum of part 1 and part 2 is 2 nanosecond which is the required time for this third latch so there will be no violation in any of the latches similarly similarly we have this part 6 nanosecond so this part and we can borrow 1 nanosecond from the part 4 this part can borrow 1 nanosecond from part 4 this part borrowed 3 nanosecond from this part 2 3 nanoseconds were borrowed similarly this can borrow 1 nanosecond so here we have represented that 1 nanosecond time can be borrowed by the part 3 so we can see that the latch based design will complete the execution of these four logic stages there are four logic stages 1 2 3 and 4 so the four the execution of the four logic stages will be completed in 20 nanosecond here the timing that will be required will be 20 nanosecond but if we were to design this using edge triggered flip flops if we were to design this using edge triggered flip flops then we will require a clock period of minimum 8 nanosecond because for the edge triggered flip flops the minimum clock period has to be equal to the path delay of the long, uh, delay of the longest path so for the edge triggered if we, if this design were to use edge triggered flip flops then we would require a minimum clock period of 8 nanosecond and since we have four stages so the total time requirement for a edge triggered flip flop will be for a edge triggered flip flop design will be 32 nanoseconds so here we can see that by the concept of time borrowing we can save 12 nanoseconds so thank you i hope this concept was clear to you thank you please like and share the video and subscribe the channel